Finally, I'm reminded of a personal anniversary this month. It's 10 years, you see, this month, August the 26th to be precise, since I had a little disagreement with a light aircraft on Western Airfield. We were doing a preview piece during the great summer drought of 1976 for the Air Day. Well, one of the attractions was to be target bombing, where aircraft would drop flower bags as close to a large X as possible. I, of course, played the part of the X. Remember seeing that? I don't. I was knocked out very cold, but I'm very lucky, too, to be alive, I know. They let me out of Western General Hospital the next day with nothing more than bruising to the bonks and to the ego. Well, I've had a letter from Jerry Mullis of Western Supermare who tells me that he was part of a team who repaired the aircraft after I'd made a dent in the wing. Here he is with uh, a little bit of what I broke. I removed the wing, stripped it out, and a carpenter cut out the damaged spar and spliced it in a new section. Then I replaced all the damaged ribs and formers, and with another fitter, replaced all the fabric covering on the wing and refitted it. Cool, Jerry. I'd forgotten how much damage I'd done. Anyway, he kept that original spar as a memento of the event and has been kind enough to let me borrow it to show you. Yes, my head did that. But if you not want any wood chop for your fires this coming autumn, please use an axe, because I don't want to try the head act again. Well, whatever you're doing this weekend, stay away from low-flying aircraft, won't you? But have a good time, sleep tight, and the main thing to remember, don't forget to write, will you? Good night. <laughs>